frustrating things is how unexplosive we were on offense. And, you know, and I think that we got conservative because of, uh, you know, the quarterback's got to play a little bit better. I thought Andrew Barner did some good things, actually. I think Kai could have had a better day, but that's the way it goes, and we'll evaluate the whole spring and not just what happened here. But we want to be far more explosive than that, and we think we can. Or you put Chris Brown or Daniel Graves in there, right. it's a different deal. The reality of the situation is we are we are, and it does start with the run game, and I don't think we put ourselves in enough good, enough first downs to, uh, so we'll get three or four yards, we can play second and five, and second and six, and we a lot of second and eights, yes. and that's not really where we want to be. Uh, the linebacker positions, I think, are extremely competitive, uh, but I also think that we're, we're extremely deep there, which is a good thing for us. And that overall, too, I'm really, been, Alex Vega, He's got yeah. a strong leg. I, I've been really impressed with him. I think Stephen Pyle and Zach Schottenfeld are extremely consistent. Uh, I kind of know what James Fogue can do. You know, Ian had one good punt. So there's a lot of good things I saw from, from all the kickers today. So, I mean, it's just a matter of I can't bring six of them into camp. So we got a tough decision to make there, and we probably won't make it for the next couple of days because, because we have to look at the whole of what they accomplished over the spring. Not just today. I think Regan Enger is going to be a good player. Yeah. I really do. If he can stay healthy and maybe get a little bigger over, over the spring, that's good. I think, you know, Max came out from basketball and he's got a great body, but he's got to learn how to play football. Uh, Blake Robinson has done some really good things as a walk-on freshman. So uh, how many we bring to camp remains to see, but all three have potential. And I think Regan probably is leading the way there. Mm -hmm. Well, we got four months. We break the we break the whole year into four month segments, and there's a four month segment where you play. That'll be starting next August when we get there, and then you have a four month segment where you get better and get ready for this, and then this kind of concludes that point. And now you really amp it up as far as conditioning, weight room, all that stuff. And really trying to go forward with who we're trying to be as a uh, as a football team on September 5th, and I think that that starts with you know, Chris Holder in the weight room, who does a tremendous job with our players. Uh, they'll get Sunday and Monday off. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday will be kind of get back in the weight room and then Thursday, Friday hit at full speed and get ready, ready until August 9th.